Well, not for the first time. There was much debate over the style of play of both teams. Manchester City dominated the ball and possession, as we saw there, didn't we? But Real Madrid, once again, found the way to win. City had more than two-thirds of possession, in fact, and 33 shots on goal. Look at that. Nine of them on target as well. They had 18 corners. Pep Guardiola was diplomatic when he was asked about the difference in approach. However, Rodri was more direct, it's fair to say. He said that only one team wanted to play football. To be honest, today I saw only one team. Uh, but uh, yeah, in terms of defending, they defend and they knew how to suffer. Um, and yeah, of course, we know how, how tough is Real Madrid. Uh, but in my opinion, we should go through in the times of chances, everything. Uh, but this is, as I tell you, the trick of this competition. They know quite well how to play. Uh, and yeah, congratulate them. I don't judge the ideas for my, from Carlo and the, the way they decide to play. I'm not here to do this. Well, despite the defeat, Guardiola remained philosophical, drawing comfort from the words of one of his biggest inspirations, Johan Cruyff. Johan Cruyff said, luck doesn't exist, and I agree with him. We couldn't score tonight. We couldn't score that extra goal. We did almost everything to almost do it. And to lose like this, it hurts. But sometimes you have to say, but what a fantastic way to, to lose. We, we weren't bad, you know, we'll feel bad tonight and we'll have to kind of lift ourselves up. But as I've always said, you just try and do it. And we've done all we, all we can. What can I say to these players who have been here for so long? We've always, and now we've gone on to show that we can play well against a big side like Real Madrid. That's all you can say. What else can I say? What more explanations can I give? I'm not sure. I don't know what they can do more. Well, City were made to rue those missed opportunities, weren't they? And uh, it was a night where they needed Erling Haaland to be at his very best, but the Norwegian striker fired a blank once again against Real Madrid. And last night was the fourth time that Haaland has come up against Real Madrid, and he's still waiting to score a goal against them. Not only has he not scored, but he also hasn't registered an assist, making the four games against Real Madrid the most games against any opponent that Haaland has gone without either scoring or assisting in his entire career. Uh, it's also a case of diminishing returns for Haaland in the knockout rounds of Champions League. His group stage tally of 27 goals in 22 games shows just how prolific he is in front of goal. But he's now blanked in four quarterfinal appearances, two semi-finals and last year's final, where they of course won in the end against Inter Milan. Neither Haaland nor Kevin De Bruyne were on the pitch for penalties. They were substituted before the end of extra time and Guardiola revealed the pair had asked to be withdrawn. Erling, Erling and Kevin asked me to, to go out, could not continue like, like Manu. So the game we were playing, they were amazing. I did a big fan to make a lot of substitutions, but Kevin, Erling and Manu asked me to go out because we could not continue.